And now for a reading from the Social Justice Warrior Bible with Pastor Gregory Post. Welcome in. I'm Gregory Post, head pastor at the Eternal Living Word Transdenominational Community Church and Coffee House in Novato, California. Now it's time for a reading from the SJW Bible. Today's reading will come from Leviticus chapter 10, verses 1 through 10. Now Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took their respective fire pans, and after putting the fire in them, placed incense on it and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he had not commanded them. And the fire came out of the presence of the Lord, which created a wicked cool light show for them to see and totally got everyone feeling the Spirit's presence. Then Moses said to Aaron, It is what the Lord spoke, saying, Even though I didn't command you to use this strange fire, I totally understand your need to express yourselves in worship and keep yourselves entertained. So Aaron therefore danced and yelled with joy, knowing that his sons were having a good time at worship. Moses called out to Mishael and Ezaphan, and the son of Aaron's uncle Uziel, and said to them, Come forward, carry your relatives away in front of the sanctuary outside of the camp, for they have fainted from being overwhelmed by the power of God's coolness. So they came forward and carried them still in their tunics outside the camp, as Moses had said. Then Moses said to Aaron and his sons Eleazar and Ithamar, Do not uncover your heads, nor tear your clothes, because God wants us to always be happy, and as long as we're happy, He's happy. Therefore, if worship doesn't give you an overwhelming sense of euphoria, you need to find another congregation, preferably one with a more dynamic pastor and band. So they did according to the word of Moses. And the Lord spoke to Aaron, saying, Do not drink wine or strong drink, neither you nor your sons with you, when you come into the sanctuary, so that you will be able to drink more once you arrive. It is a perpetual statute throughout your generations, and so as to make a distinction between the holy and the profane, between the unclean and the clean, because when worship stops being fun or feels judgy, then it becomes profane and unclean. Wow, so inspiring. This has been a reading from the SJW Bible, and remember, the only truth that matters is your truth.